How you doing, Sinful? Um, I'm not gonna call you by your real name, because, uh, I don't know you personally. Otherwise, I would. But anyway, um, I responded to your, not the last video that you did, but I guess two videos ago. I uh, seem to make videos every two, every month and a half, maybe? I, I don't know the exact number, but you make videos every so often. Kind of more less less frequently than I do now, which is kind of ironic because I because you know you used to make a lot more videos than I did. Not that you should be exchanging videos or anything like that, but but um, this this particular topic caught my attention, um, just like a lot of the other videos do. Just this one in particular because once again uh, you seem to be I, I don't know if y you've decided to make yourself the mouthpiece for the RNC or. You're a mouthpiece for a specific Republican candidate running for president in 2008, or you just are a Republican, a young Republican activist, just speaking your mind. I, I don't know. You haven't made that clear. Um, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to find out what exactly you would classify yourself as, um, because uh, I, I think a lot of the stuff you touch on um, can be can go any which way. You could it, it, some 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 people are saying you you work for the RNC. You're just a young person working for the RNC. Some people say. You know, you're just a young, uh, somewhat misinformed uh, young person. Some people say you're working for a candidate that is yet to be named, uh, or a Republican candidate that is yet to be named. Who knows? Only you can tell us. Um, I leave that up to you. But um, in your video, uh, I guess yesterday, two days ago, you basically said that uh, there are a few candidates, and you actually said one Republican candidate, which is actually interesting. Um, so there were two candidates, or I'm sorry, not two. You said there were a number of Democratic candidates, male Democratic candidates, which I found interesting as well. You mentioned the word male, um, that are that are harping on what we should do about Iran. Um, you touched on three reasons. Uh, what the Democratic candidates, in particular, are saying that we should do: uh, we should pull out of Iraq and not focus on Iran. Um, we should ask the UN to help us or we should mislead the American public uh, and focus on, as you put it, more important things like global warming. I'm not saying you're saying this, I'm saying you're saying Democratic candidates are saying this. Um, which is also interesting. Uh, you know, I find it kind of ironic um, that someone who I guess, as someone who I guess is informed or misinformed as yourself would just blatantly say that the Democratic candidates are trying to misinform the American public when it has been the Republican administration that's in office right now that has taken it upon itself to, number one, misinform the people about a, a war, the, the current war, the Iraq war. Number two, start one war when we weren't done with the previous conflict. And I'm talking about the conflict in Afghanistan. I harped that I said that in my other video response to you, which you didn't seem to mention at all in your latest video about Iran. So I don't know. Maybe you just forgot. You know, maybe you too seem to forget that there's something going on in Afghanistan. Because um, again, you seem to be a patriotic American, just like I am, and you seem to say, you know, you're you're all for the troops, and you you know, I, I know that your single most your single subscription on your YouTube account is to a soldier who I believe served in Iraq. I'm not totally sure. I haven't watched all of his videos, but I believe he's either serving in Iraq or he served in Iraq. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so, so I know you support the troops. That's just obvious. Um, but I just find it interesting that, uh, just going back to what I was saying before, that you're basically taking the side of those people who believe that... Uh, the Democratic, the current Democratic majority in, I guess, Congress, uh, be it the House and the Senate, uh, are basically not taking. You you would feel more comfortable if they took more of a lead in, um, I guess, taking a less di diplomatic role in Iran and being more defensive. Um, uh, or I'm sorry, offensive. The, the the difficulty with that is there there's two. Just two two things wrong. First, um, we're still in the deficit. The economy is it's not in it's in I would say it's not in great shape, but 
it's it, it, I, I won't I won't say it's in great shape, but it, it it's not all the way there. Um, we're still in the deficit. Uh, the the current financial chairs believe that the you know the, the all these the stock analysts and the Federal Reserve folks they all say the same thing. All, all the financial people attached to money within the United States government are all harping on the same thing, whether they're on the Republican or the Democratic side. They, everybody's saying we're in a deficit. That's just blatantly obvious. Um, and we can't really cover those tracks by printing more money. Printing more money doesn't really solve the problem, in my opinion. Um, I think this kind of diverts the problem uh, from addressing the current problem, which is addressing poverty and uh, addressing uh, the war at home, which it, it entails property, and I'll touch on that in a second. But, um, you know, again, just getting back to what you were talking about, so I don't, so I don't go on a complete opposite tangent. Uh, you know, you said, well, you, well, in your video you had snippets of, I believe, Dennis Kucinich and Senator Barack Obama saying that uh, um we should take more of a diplomatic approach to Iran and less of an offensive approach to Iran, which is, yes, there are fundamentalist Muslims in across the Middle East. They're in the, but they're not just in the Middle East. They're in Europe. They're in Canada. They're in the U.S. They're in South America. Uh, you know they're they're all over the world, and um, but there's fundamentalist Christians, there's fundamentalist Jewish people as well. Um, so for you to just say there's fundamentalist Muslims and they just and, and you and you know you did an excellent job if it was you or whoever makes your videos, whoever edits your videos, you did an excellent job cutting the pieces of the Iranian president. I'm not gonna pronounce his name and get it wrong because. People in this, people who comment on this video will say that I'm saying it wrong, and I'm not, not just going to do it. The Iranian president, um, you you you, t you cut snippets of his video and basically said, you know, where where he basically said, and I'm not going to misquote him. He he did say that America is the devil, the East is the de or the West is the devil, and uh, you know, uh, there's you know, Isla Islam is basically the quote unquote we we can turn the rest of the world into an Islamic state. And while he may believe that, there are people in Israel that believe Judaism should be, and not just in Israel, but Jewish people in other countries believe that, uh, you know, Judaism is, should be, is the best religion for the state of the world, for the, for the correct path. There are fundamentalist Christians that believe that Christianity is the fundamental way to go in a state of the world. Um, and we as the United States, whoever's in power at the time in the United States, whatever what, whatever religion they are, it's unfortunate that the current administration is using religion, whether you want to believe it or not, is using religion to police other countries. They're touting it as democracy, and saying we're going to bring, we're going to help these people and bring, you know, changes, change their lives and everything like that. And it, you know, while that might be well and good for a lot of these people, because while I'll admit, in the Muslim states that the that America has helped and brought quote unquote democracy to those nations and allowed women to vote, I think that's a great thing. But at the same time, what people have to realize is, in some of those countries where we have allies, and we're still going in those countries and saying, what you're doing and not allowing women to vote, or having women fully closed and you know not going, in, not being a part of your government and not going to school, and you know having to stay home all day, there are families in the United States that do the exact same thing, and they're not Muslim at all is the point I'm trying to make. So, for, again, us as a country, to, for the, and when I say us, I mean the United States, to take 
a war and or go to a country and tout the reason we're going as democracy when really we're going to basically change the country so that it is more like an Amer it is more like a United States state or city rather than a country of its own because we can't go back you know to go back in time to a time in the in the 50 the 40s 50s and 60s when his yes, countries were in turmoil then but through the 70s the 80s the 90s and the new millennium the united states and it's well documented the united states has taken it upon itself to take a take a leadership role in basically playing uh, uh, I'll use the term that's used in where I live the Maryland political scene kingmaker when it comes to taking a certain certain political figure out and putting a certain polit political figure in to office um, whether it be militarily or diplomatically uh, dip diplomatically uh, it doesn't really matter uh, the United States has a history of doing this again through the 70s, 80s, and the 90s, and the new millennium. We just have a history of doing it, and quite honestly, I don't think that that's the way that we should go about things. And I think in your video, you're basically saying we should just do that over again. We should do the same thing we did in Iraq, that we did in Saudi Arabia, that we did in Afghanistan, you know. And I can go back further and further and further and further, you know. I, I don't need to because history has already done it for me. I, I, I don't need to tout history because it's already been done. Um, not by me, but just it's in the books. Um, it's in the books. The people, who have, the people who have lived in that time can tout history for me. I don't need to do it um, because, again, it's already been done. And we as a country can't reinvent the wheel when it comes to diplomacy. We can't constantly say, well, we don't really like you as a leader. You know, while, yes, there have been some leaders that the United States has removed and replaced, but let's think about this. Let's think about this for a second. Let's, in fact, go back in history. During the Ronald Reagan administration, perfect example, we, I believe, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, there's I'm going to leave the comments open to respond to this. Um, we took it upon ourselves to, uh, you know, take, uh, I think, Osama bin Laden. Or no, we, we helped Osama bin Laden fight Russia, I think. Um, or the USSR, I think, in the 19, in the early 80s. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. And then, no, the United, the, we helped Afghanistan fight I, we helped Iraq fight Afghanistan in the in, in the early 80s, and then in the 90s, we after we helped Iraq beat Afghanistan, we helped Afghanistan beat Iraq, and then we helped Saudi Arabia beat Iraq, and then we ha and now we want to help, and now we just want to change Iran. Um, and quite honestly, this whole reinventing the whole Middle East thing over and over and over again, we can't just keep reinventing the wheel when it comes to this country or the, this, this part of the world. Um, yes, there's a lot of turmoil there. Yes, there's a lot of things wrong in that, things wrong in that part of the country. But there's a lot of things wrong in Africa that we're not focusing on. There's a lot of things wrong in Europe we're not focusing on. There's a lot of things, again, wrong at home that we are not focusing on. The country is still in a horrible poverty rate, horrible poverty rate whether the American government wants to admit it or not. Um, the, the job market, while it might look good on paper, is not that great. The economy, again, is dismal. I said earlier that it wasn't great. It's dismal. Um, and every single financial leader in the country, whether they be at the start of the Bush administration or now, whether they be Democrat or Republican, is saying the exact same thing. Um, there's just a lot of mismanagement, I guess is the correct word to use, going on, and it needs to be addressed. Um, and I don't think you really touched on that in your video. You kind of just said we need to take out Iran and 
you know, the, the, the Democrats are doing a bad job, and these are the three reasons why and everything like that. You didn't really go into detail. You just kind of, you know, just spouted on RNC hot topic points, and you didn't really go into detail. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to pick apart your argument because you didn't really have one. I, I, I could do that, but again, you didn't really have one. So, you know, again... I, I give you kudos for once again coming out and making another video about another issue or concern going on in the world. Um, I really wish you could go into more detail. I don't know if you have school or uh, work or something like that. I'm obviously making this video very late in the evening, so I have you know work in the morning. Um, but uh, you know, again, for you to just you know, it's great that you're making these videos. You know, I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's great that you make these videos, but I just wish you would go into more detail when you make these videos. Uh, you know, I, you know, I've gone on for 15 minutes here, going on 20. I'm not going to make this video for 20 minutes, but you know, I, unlike your videos, I will go into detail and explain myself. I won't just kind of edit my videos down to certain hot point, key points, and try to make a certain person or a certain group feel less of themselves. I will just explain my opinion, explain where I stand, and then if I feel it necessary, cite things that need to be cited um, for my argument, uh, which you just don't seem to do. I don't know why, but maybe if you could respond to my video and tell me why you don't like to cite anything that you ever post ever, it would be interesting if you did that. Besides, you know, editing videos of MSNBC debates and just Keith Oberman videos and everything like that, I just really want you to go into detail. Detail is a beautiful thing. You don't have to keep your videos down to five minutes. Uh, just like me, you're a director, you have a director account, so obviously you can make your videos a lot longer. Um, so don't use that as an excuse. So, uh, yeah, I welcome comments, I welcome video responses, I welcome people to, you know, comment on this. Pick apart my arguments, go right ahead. I have no problem debating anybody on any issue. Um, be it current or past, because uh, I think that's what this medium is for. So, respond.